Assalamu alaikum. Hi everybody. Welcome to the channel. Today I would like to talk to you about inferior vena cava. I will discuss some anatomical and some important clinical points about inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava is the largest vein in the human body while the great saphenous vein is the longest vein in the human body. The inferior vena cava begins as the left and right common iliac veins unite at about the level of L5. It passes through diaphragm at the caval opening at T8 level. Remember the digit 58. Inferior vena cava starts at L5 and ends at T8. Inferior vena cava is located to the right of midline. Right sided veins like right testicular vein in male and right ovarian vein in female and suprarenal veins drain directly into inferior vena cava because inferior vena cava is on right side. While left sided veins like left testicular vein in male and left ovarian vein in female and suprarenal veins first drain into the left renal vein which passes in front of iota to drain into inferior vena cava the longer left renal vein crosses the midline anterior to the abdominal iota and posterior to the superior mesenteric artery and can be compressed by an aneurysm in either of these two vessels. Inferior vena cava is primarily a right sided structure. So unconscious pregnant women should be turned on to their left side called the recovery position to relieve pressure on it and facilitate venous return. If the inferior vena cava becomes blocked, the ascending lumbar veins become important collateral channels between the lower and upper part of the body. So this was all about today's lecture. Thanks.